Hello subscribers and fans of the channel. I realised that this channel was originally set up as an ant channel and the vast majority of the videos that we've been doing have been on fish and aquarium. And that's because with fish and aquarium keeping, there's something to do every single day. There's always something that needs looking at the water chemistry, the algae, fish care, the fish health and everything else that goes into the wonderful world of that aspect of the hobby. Now, if you remember, probably back in November, we got a queen, Lassius Niger, and it was Kate. Kate Beckinsale was one of you who decided to name her. Kate has been in there. And during that time, we moved her from a test tube into this ant care kind of form aquarium, I think they call them. And unfortunately, there was only one worker left. I have no idea what happened to the others. There was no possibility whatsoever for them to escape. But there was just one left. And I had put some sugar water and some honey and a few other things, and the queen just didn't want it. So as you can see, there is a lot of pupa in there and a lot of eggs as well. And it looks like there's probably 15 to 20 in there. And I've been keeping the red cover on this formicarium and I'm wondering whether now is the time to leave that off. Whether it's been encouraging them to stay in hibernation and not have much activity because the workers, they don't really even go out and try and forage and look for food and water. And that kind of worried me a little bit, but it's only till you get a macro lens on and actually try and get down into the world, you can see what's actually going on down there. Now this formicarium came with a red cover so that you could look at the ants without disturbing them. But I'm wondering, is now the time for me to leave this off? If you've got any advice on this, whether you think this is the right thing to do, please do let me know whether I should keep this off or whether I should keep this on during the day. For the vast majority of time I've actually checked on my ants, they don't seem to move at all as if they're still in hibernation. On screen you can see there is a bit of activity now, that's because I've removed the Perspex coating on top of this and I've put in some ant protein very close to where the queen is in a hope that the workers will actually get to this because the food that I've put elsewhere around the formicarium in test tubes and down the corridors, they just don't go foraging for it at all. So as with all things in the ant world, it's kind of a waiting game until they come out of hibernation and they start to rummage and rumble around in the dark looking for food and the colony starts to grow. It's quite difficult in order to be able to create content for the channel when there's not a lot happening in there. But if you've got advice on whether I should be constantly stop biting the queen's legs, although if it was Kate, I'd be biting her leg as well. If you've got any advice on whether I should leave the red cover off or there's anything I should do now to encourage the queen or just literally leave them alone and just put some water in there occasionally, then all that advice is very, very helpful. As you can see on screen, there's a little bit of the jelly that I've put elsewhere and they simply don't go for it. Hopefully I'll do some more videos, including some more aquarium videos, but thanks for the support so far. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video. Like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye-bye.